Hey, it's Austin James. Yes, I'm living with diabetes, but it doesn't have to define me. Thanks to the Freestyle Libre 3 Plus sensor, I get real-time glucose readings throughout the day. The Freestyle Libre 3 Plus sensor is small and easy to wear, giving me the freedom to focus on my life as a parent and a musician. Now this is progress. You can get a free sensor at freestylelibre.us. Offer available for people who qualify. Visit myfreestyle.us to see all terms and conditions. Certain exclusions apply. Data on file at a diabetes care. For prescription only. Safety info found at freestylelibre.us. Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my 100th Mint commercial. No, 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 don't, no, no, no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I'd only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save whenever you're ready. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. And now, stop me if you've heard this before on the Toddcast podcast. NPC bikini champion Nicole Serini is a registered nurse, a certified nutritionist, has two bachelor degrees, one in nursing, the other in wellness, health promotion, and injury prevention. Truly impressive. Here's an interesting conversation you should check out at our YouTube channel. She talks about how COVID gave her the time to get into competitive bodybuilding. It's truly amazing what we can do when faced with adversity. She talked about needing discipline and motivation. We talked about Channing Tatum and Ryan Reynolds, Chronicles of Narnia, seeing John Mayer in concert. She talked about the foods you eat that could cause or prevent disease. We talked about growing up to the Beatles and country music. Dreams came up, so did superpowers. And stop me if you've heard this before, Nicole talked about nutrition, cheat foods, and your body's natural metabolism. Right now, with um, I'm in a building phase, so I definitely have to hit my macros every day. But I have a very high metabolism, so I don't let myself stick to like a very specific meal plan daily. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat more, but I do stick to certain foods. You know, the classic chicken and rice every day is basically my go-to. Ground turkey, rice cakes, peanut butter, protein shakes, things like that. Um, But I definitely do let myself have those those cheat meals Um, once a week, sometimes more. It depends. But, um, (laughs) but yeah, I'm not crazy strict right now. Obviously in prep, it's a different story, but yeah, you know, and and a few questions down, I was, I was going to ask you about what are your cheap foods when you're like, screw it. I'm eating whatever I want. So honestly, my my go-to probably would be pizza. I would say that's my number one. Love it. My number two would be a really good homemade mac and cheese. I'm a big pasta fan. So love that too. And are you worried about losing the metabolism? Because, you know, I'm almost 50. And (laughs) when I turned 40, suddenly my metabolism just fucking went out the door. Like That's what I keep hearing. But honestly, no, I'm not worried. I have never had a problem. And my mom has also never had a problem. Mm. And that's kind of what I look to, too, you know? So I'm hoping I will keep the luck going throughout my life. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Stop me if you've heard this before on the Toddcast podcast is powered by FKP MMA, Vancouver's number one training destination at fkpmma.com. Listening to a podcast should be time well spent, and I promise it will be if you'll give this podcast a try. It's called Something You Should Know. I'm the host, Mike Carruthers, and in every episode, I talk with leading experts on topics I know you will find fascinating. From why people can't keep secrets, what your favorite music says about you, why your pet acts in strange ways, and so much more. Something You Should Know is designed to give you information you can use in your life and give you great intel that you can share with others. I'm told it's a binge-worthy podcast. And with over a thousand episodes, there's a lot to binge on. Something You Should Know has been ranked in the top of the Apple podcast charts consistently for a long time. I know you're going to like this. I just need to get you to try it. Something You Should Know. It's available wherever you listen to podcasts. Hi, I'm Jennifer, a co-founder of the Go Kid Go Network. At Go Kid Go, putting kids first is at the heart of every show that we produce. 
That's why we're so excited to introduce a brand new show to our network called The Search for the Silver Lining, a fantasy adventure series about a spirited young girl named Isla who time travels to the mythical land of Camelot. During her journey, Isla meets new friends, including King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, and learns valuable life lessons with every quest, sword fight, and dragon ride. Positive and uplifting stories remind us all about the importance of kindness, friendship, honesty, and positivity. Join me and an all-star cast of actors, including Liam Neeson, Emily Blunt, Kristen Bell, Chris Hemsworth, among many others, in welcoming the Search for the Silver Lining podcast to the Go Kid Go Network by listening today. Look for the Search for the Silver Lining on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. What's up, everyone? It's Noah Daniels. Hey, y'all. I'm JJ. Hey, guys. It's Kat. And we're your hosts of the Real Hauntings podcast. We bring on guests who share their firsthand encounter ghost stories and supernatural experiences. Now on to the trailer. I've been warned to not tell this story, but I think because of the way it ends, it's okay to tell this story. Because some people say that with certain entities, to like speak of them or talk about them or in any way like portray them as powerful will attract them to other people. The creepiest thing about it to me is a lot of times it would wait for me to notice it. Like it would just lay its arm out like this and then I'd be like, where is it? Where is it? And then I'd see it and then it would just slither back. For more information on the Real Hauntings, Real Ghost Stories podcast, make sure you check out real.fm to learn more about our podcast and many other amazing podcasts.